What's going on everybody? Hey, before we get started with today's video, if you're looking for a super easy way to make some quick cash while you're pretty much doing nothing with all this alone time watching Netflix and stuff, I have a great solution for you. So back when I was an aspiring actor, in between my Uber and Lyft rides, I was on this service called Survey Junkie. And it's incredible because you literally make money just filling out these surveys. And the surveys will be anything about products you use, places you've lived, all kinds of different things. They're real fast, real easy to fill out. You save up those points and you can cash them out on PayPal or redeem them for prizes. And it's crazy because I literally used to do this. And I revisited the idea of it the other day because what was I doing? Sitting on the couch watching Netflix. So I thought, hey, you know, there's got to be a way I can monetize this time a little bit better. So I remembered that. I got back on, started filling out surveys and making some money. It's 100% legit. I can verify that because I've been a part of it for years, honestly. And um, yeah, you definitely want to check it out. So get on our uh, really good promo code. It's in the description and get started filling out some surveys. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Rideshare Hub. Hope you guys are all doing good, staying safe and healthy and enjoying your time with your families. Oh, man. So what are we doing today? Well, unfortunately, I'm sure as you guys have all been learning, most of us have been getting denied unemployment benefits. So I'm going to cover that. Uh, I don't know if I got denied, but I definitely haven't gotten approved yet. <laughs> Um, I basically submitted and I got a ton of junk in the mail, like all these letters with all this paperwork they wanted me to fill out and they wanted me to send pay stubs from an employer and all this stuff that just didn't make sense, especially from what we were all hearing from the CARES Act and, you know, all that stuff about what would, you know, how we would be taken care of. It just didn't line up with anything, right? So I'm going to go over that a little bit. Um, and if I have the time, I'm also going to, um, so I'm going to cover, I want to cover the reasons people are getting, um, denied as well as, you know, why I got denied and some possible solutions that I think may be going on. So I was really shocked. I, so yeah, I got all this, I got all these letters in the mail and they were saying all this stuff about, you know, like I was saying earlier, like they wanted, they wanted all this stuff as if I was an employee, like if, as if I was a normal employee at Uber, like maybe I worked in one of their tech offices or something. And obviously I don't. And I was very, very clear that I was self-employed in my application. Uh, I can't really figure out why, why, how it would have gotten mixed up. So my guess is, is that the systems are still so backlogged. I mean, we're at 20 million plus unemployment submissions and that number is probably rising. <laughs> So I don't really see like it, things getting like sorted out in a real fluid way anytime soon. I have heard that some states are opening back up, which I think would affect if you would get it in those states. I believe South Carolina, Tennessee, uh, somebody else. Ironically, uh, here in Arizona, I don't think we are anytime soon, which <laughs> is weird because like we have like the least amount of cases. Um, but whatever. So I, you know, it's, it's dicey because the thing that I feel bad for like the drivers in those states that are opening up is I just don't see ride sharing returning to normal anytime soon. So I would still apply if you haven't, maybe give it a shot. Um, and, and what's funny is a lot of states are just now opening up the ability to apply right now. So it's like some states are getting rumors of opening up by the end of the month. Some states are, you know, there's no, no one saying anything, but they're just now opening up the ability to file for unemployment. It's a really weird thing and everybody's really confused and I don't think anybody has a really, really clear solution on this. So uh, for one, it's a way more difficult process than I think a lot of us like really anticipated. I know I was incredibly confused by the whole thing. And I tried asking a lot of people that were supposed experts and no one could really give me any clear idea of like what I maybe had done wrong or what I would do to fix it. I was on, you know, uh, Arizona Department of Economic Security site and then getting their phone numbers and I was on hold for hours and hours and hours each day. I finally just stopped calling because I was like, this is ridiculous. Like I'm never actually going to get in touch with someone who's going to give me clear information. So to some degree, we're all really confused. Um, I personally haven't even gotten my stimulus check yet either, which is really annoying. 
But um, yeah, so a lot of states still aren't set up yet. So that's going to affect you if you're in one of those states. Um, the other things that might have affected, I guess, hypothetically, maybe we filled out the information wrong. I don't really see how, because like I said, in my application, I was incredibly clear that I was self-employed through Uber and Lyft. I was an independent contractor. So I don't know. I mean, I guess when you have a limited number of employees and they're sending out the mail, they might just be slapping together the same mail for everybody and just mailing that out and being like, well, hopefully they're a real employee somewhere because according to the world, Uber and Lyft drivers aren't real anything. It's so freaking aggravating. Um, you could also not qualify if your earnings haven't been affected enough. So if you've been one of those people that's still been driving really consistently and you know they're looking at your earnings in, in March and April and they're like, well, you're making the same amount of money. You're probably not going to qualify. Uh, I'd be floored if any of you are. The only person I've ever heard of that was doing halfway decent was a guy here in Arizona who told me that he had only lost about 25% of his rides, which is still a pretty significant dip when you're depending on that income. But in comparison to the, what supposedly is going on with everybody else, I'm talking to people all over that are telling me they're not even making $5 an hour, which if you're not making $10 an hour, you're losing money driving. I can almost promise you that. I mean, maybe you're profiting two bucks an hour, but like, really? I'm talking about after gas and everything. Um, so the other thing that I think could have been it is just, um, I don't know. You know, I actually don't even know what the other thing could possibly be because I, I just don't see what any of us did wrong here. So I think it's, I think it's got nothing to do with us. And I, my hope is that they can have this figured out. Now, the one piece of good news I have is there is, um, there is a new part of the uh, uh, pandemic unemployment program that was released really, really recently. Now, I believe it only affects California, but I could see this being something that would trickle over for the rest of us. And it's like specifically for independent contractors, those who are self-employed, um, individuals without sufficient work history, so anyone, <laughs> individuals who have exhausted their regular and any extended UI benefits. And um, yeah, and so the amount of benefits, the minimum would be 167 bucks weekly. And if you guys want to look into this, it's uh, labor.ca.gov backslash pandemic dash unemployment dash assistant dash PUA dash program backslash. Um, and that's going to be the site where you can see you know, about all of this, especially you guys in California, like y'all should really, really check this out. So 167 bucks a week and uh, 600 bucks for weeks between March 29th to July 25th. So it sounds a lot like the program we all were already trying to get involved with, right? Um, so benefits can be retroactive to weeks starting on or after February 2nd, 2020, depending on your last day of work and regardless of when you submitted your claim application. The effective date of your claim will begin the Sunday of the week when you last work and became unemployed due to reasons directly related to current circumstances. Uh, it can last for up to 39 weeks. Many, minus any weeks of regular UI and uncertain extended UI benefits. So that sounds pretty amazing. Uh, if you're in California, you definitely want to hop on this. Now, my hope and prayer is that this trickles over to every state because I know a lot of you guys could really use this. Um, under the CARES Act of 2020, the additional $600 of benefits are available through 731.20. However, for most Californians, the last full week of benefits will end on 7-25-20. So then how do you know if you're eligible for it, right? Uh, you may qualify if you are unemployed, partially unemployed, unable to work, or unavailable to work as a direct result of current circumstances. And you, this is important. You are a business owner, self-employed, independent contractor, or gig worker, and are not participating in the UI elective coverage program. So again, it sounds like the original program that was promised to us, right? But I guess it's different. Supposedly this is just for gig workers, independent contractors, freelancers, 
um, I, I would qualify it for like four different things. So if I don't somehow get some money from this, I'm literally going to be ticked. Well, I won't because I'm in Arizona. But if it's available in Arizona eventually, I better get something from it. Um, you basically just have to uh, indicate that you have no employment wages. Um, for example, you didn't receive a W-2 solely for the purpose of applying for the PUA program. However, you may proceed with a regular UI claim if you believe you're misclassified and have wages from an employer. So, um, I, it's just, I don't know, it's just weird. All these programs and stuff, like it's gotten to the point where it's all so jumbled and confusing. But mainly, uh, for those of you that are in California, go back to where I mentioned the website. Uh, definitely get on that and just do whatever you got to do to figure out how to apply for that because that could be a huge, huge game changer. My hope is that that trickles over to all of us because I know so many of you are like desperately in need of something like this. And we all thought that we, I mean, I, man, I thought we were all going to be like riding fat and happy from this. I was like, man, 600 a week and a stipend, like this is going to be awesome. <laughs> and uh, instead we're all leaving left hanging dry like they always leave Uber and Lyft drivers. So hopefully I have better news for you guys in the next video. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this like and subscribe and I will talk to you guys soon.